I just come off the cruise ship at Livorno and shuttle buses are provided into town. So um, I have to get a ticket for the shuttle bus. Okay, can we have are the tickets free, are they? Yeah, two. To oh, two. two. Thanks. Okay, that's great. So the tickets are free. I thought suddenly we might have to pay okay, then we weren't informed. See you in town. So the shuttle bus arrives in Livorno. Takes about 12 minutes. And um, we now make our way to the station. We've got some street sellers here and some eateries. So just walk into the bus stop to get the bus to the train station. And Italy's uh, Livorno is just waking up. So it's really quite early at the moment. And this is the bus stop. Three minute walk and grand form. We need the lamb blue to the station. Just on the bus, which is taking us through some residential areas. That's a 10 minute ride to the station. And here we have arrived station. So the first train to Florence is at 8.49 and to be honest the queues to get the tickets are quite long and take a long time so uh, we just used the self-service on the side here and it was pretty self-explanatory to be fair so it didn't take too long to get the tickets and it's 21 euros for two people to Florence so uh, we're just going to the platform now and this is the train and uh, it's actually here waiting to go so uh, that's a pleasant surprise compared to uh, Genoa and we're just gonna board and we are away to Florence the train should take one hour 13 minutes we're going through lots of villages and towns Get to see the beauty of Italy on the way. Into Tuscany now, travelling through. Beautiful. And we have arrived in Florence. Very busy station. So just exiting the station and uh, walking to Piazza Dumo, which is about a 12 minute walk. There's plenty of trams and taxis and transportation outside if you have another itinerary. And I can just see a market over there as well, right opposite. Tourist information just outside actually. And uh, we may take a look at the market and see. I think it's just uh, a tourist market. Some postcards, football shirts, bags, fridge magnets, and um, some drinks and snacks. Actually, a very nice walk down. Lots of shops. This is Parish of Santa Maria. Oh. See El Dumo in the distance as we walk up. Just there. It's a church of Santa Maria on the way.
after visiting plenty of shops along the way. Um, it's a really nice courtyard. It's quite a beautiful building. It's really nice. Amazing. Nice piazza. Eateries outside, lots of shops, Irish pub, in the distance there. Restaurants and bars all around. Well worth a visit. You just walk around. buy your tickets and these are the timings ticket required it's quite a busy place Look at the architecture on this. Even on the door. There's a queue to go in if you have your tickets. The queue is very long and, and that's after you've queued for the tickets. So it just goes round the whole building. And it could take you a, a while, I think. It could take a real long while to get in after queuing for your tickets and then queuing to go in. So just factor that in. Um, for that reason, we may have to miss it. You can see the queue just continuing all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way around the building. Okay, just last look before we move on. Last place, El Dorado. Just down. As we're walking and there's a queue at the moment waiting for it to open so um, hopefully we'll get to try it otherwise we may have to try somewhere else because it should have been open by now Hazelnut and pistachio. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Amazing ice cream. Well worth it. They do tasters as well, so you can get it right. So the main shopping street in Florence. All your brands, swatch, hotels, and just shops after.
to shops and lots of people. We're just on our way to the next stop. My brother Rakura had the word. My brother Rakura had the word. Lovely square. Market just for handbags. <laughs> beautiful views as you walk down. We're just going down to the bridge. It's in the distance there. It's quite busy. I can see it from here. And this is the Ponte Vecchio bridge. And you've got some great views to the right here as well. The ones you normally see in the movies and the pictures. Gorgeous. Ponteveccio, yeah. full of jewelry shops, expensive watches, expensive jewelry, and then in the center, we've got the opening of the bridge. And the same on the other side. <laughs> Gorgeous. Amazing. Stopped in a supermarket on the way to the next stop. Just some amazing fresh produce that you can buy in Italy. This is great. Fresh pasta. Could film so much, but this video would become really long. Cheese. Continuing our walk to the next stop, which is Piazza San Michelangelo. So, but some amazing views. It's just Italy is just beautiful. Everywhere you go. It's about a 15-minute walk further. At the top of the hill, it seems. But uh, Pisa Michelangelo, Piazza Michelangelo, side entrance. Uh, 
as you walk up. Some nice views. Some amazing views. Just as you go up, some benches. Not all of them in the shape there. A lot of climbing. So if you have mobility issues, it might be a bit difficult. Right to the very top. Wow, amazing views. Definitely worth the climb. Amazing, amazing views. You can see the bridges we were at earlier, just down there. Great views up here. You've got lots of tourists, lots of sellers, You've got some toilets which are one euro per person. Okay, great. Okay, about to make our way to Pisa now. Just caught the train to Pisa. We're gonna try and squeeze in the Leaning Tower of Pisa. This is the view outside. You've got taxis, you've got eateries, you've got buses. So hopefully we can do it. We spent a lot of time in Florence. You can get carried away. So if you want to do both, do a tight schedule because if you go around the shops like we did, you might get a bit rushed. Okay, let's see you at the Tower of Pizza. Some amazing views as usual as you walk through. Beautiful. Have to cross across the bridge. Amazing views. Gorgeous. Still walking up these beautiful streets that's about a 25 minute walk from Pisa Central Station up to the Leaning Tower of Pizza and there you can start to see the Leaning Tower of Pizza behind the trees there there is some beautiful gardens on the right but there's a, a ticketed entrance so you need to buy some tickets and unfortunately, having spent too much time in Florence, we haven't got time to go in. So, hopefully we'll get to see the Lean Tower Pizza, or we will take a few photos and then head back. And there we have it, the Lean Tower of Pizza. Plenty of sellers, souvenir shops, eateries, 
if you come on plenty of time, unlike us, to enjoy. You guys, there's the rest of the square. There's some building work. Enjoy. Can you, if you could please like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Enjoy, see you back on the ship. You just pick up the shuttle bus and it will say Enchanted Princess or the name of your cruise ship at the front at the same stop you stop it at. And then back to the ship. Back on the cruise ship, ready to sail away. This is the port of Livorno. Not as nice as some of the other ports to look at, but um, all the same. You can see the skyline along and the Norwegian cruise boat alongside. It's been a good day, managed to fit a lot in. Um, if you decide to do the DIY, I suggest you don't book your train tickets in advance because your itinerary could change depending on how long you are at each location. That's what we found anyway. Uh, please subscribe. If this uh, video was helpful for you, please like it and uh, see you on the next one. Thanks, bye.